can you talk a, a, about the two people who've sadly died um, taking AstraZeneca? And would you be worried if um, one of those uh, people, as I understand it, um, had, or the family claims, didn't get, uh, wasn't fully informed of the symptoms to look out for? Well, we're all responsible for our own health. And when it comes to informed consent and giving consent, to whatever treatment or procedure you may have or I may have, then I'm ultimately responsible for what people do in their health treatment to me. And, uh, and there has been the opportunity uh, for people to visit their GP, to have that consultation. The government has provided that and funded that. And the informed consent process provides the decision to the individual. That's the sort of country we live in. People make their own decisions about their own health and their own bodies. That's why we don't have mandatory vaccination um, in relation to the general population here, because people make their own decisions. And we encourage people to make those decisions. We make as much information available to them as is possible. Um, the vaccines, like any vaccine, uh, with any vaccine, there are, risks, there are risks associated. And I won't go to, into each of the individual ones because I don't want to particularly draw attention to anyone. But we all understand that with any vaccine, there are risk factors and they're enumerated and they're made available to people and people make decisions about that.